Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you an identical matching activity you can do in your home. First, you need to find about three to 10 objects that match exactly. So we call these identical matching. So for example, the bowl is the same. I have two of those. I have two of the tennis balls. I have two spoons. I have two Lego and these all look identical. That's really important. You can also use tissue. I have my little cups, um, kitchen items. I have a lot of matching stuff. That was kind of the first place I looked. So first we're gonna put out three. We call this a field of three. That's how many objects we have out. And then you would hand your child one item and tell them to match. You can also label the item after. So you can say match ball. And then they're gonna look, that's matching the ball. And if they don't initially put the ball, let's say they put it in the bowl, you can kind of help them and show them this is matching the ball. And then lots of praise after they match it, that's matching. The next thing you can give them, the cup, match cup. That's matching the cup, match bowl. That's matching the bowl. I'm gonna put out some new items. Match cup. That's matching the cup. Match spoon. That's matching the spoon. Match fork. That's matching the fork. So if this is something that your child feels comfortable with, you can increase the field size, meaning we can put out more objects. So we had a field of three, I'm gonna increase that to five. So I have five different items out and I'm still giving that same direction. Match fork, that's matching fork. Match paper, that's matching paper. Then I might move around the field. Match cup. That's matching cup. Match tissue. That's matching tissue. And matching is a great activity to do at home. It's also a good way for kids to hear that vocabulary. So this is matching with identical objects. 